Hello students, today we are going to learn lesson 6 from your EVS textbook for standard 5. Rules are for everyone. So come along then, let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Rules are for everyone. Before we begin this lesson children, let's recall on some things. Can you tell? 1. Can you tell some traffic rules? So, can you recall some traffic rules? I am sure you all have travelled and all have followed traffic rules. So, which of them you can recollect? 2. Give reasons why we should obey these rules. So, can you think of why these rules are made and why should we follow them? What happens if we don't follow them? Think about it. 3. Which one of these rules do you feel needs to be changed? Sometimes you feel, oh, this rule is so horrible. It shouldn't be here. Or why have they made these rules here? It is irrelevant. It is not needed. So which rules do you feel should be changed? And number four, what other rules do you think are needed for better discipline in the traffic? So sometimes you feel that, you know, there should be a signal at this, you know, junction or this crossroad. Sometimes we feel there should be a zebra crossing here. There are people moving and traffic moving on a very fast pace. So if there is a zebra crossing, people will be able to uh, cross very easily. Sometimes we feel that there should be a speed breaker here because there could be a school, there could be a hospital, there could be lots of people traveling. So, what other rules do you think are needed for better discipline in the traffic? Have you thought about it? Yes. So, we follow rules so that traffic moves smoothly. In the same way, there are rules of social life that tell us what each person should be doing. So, we follow traffic rules so that traffic moves smoothly. That is, there is no hindrance, there is no stopping. That is, the cars and the vehicles can move in a very orderly manner. People can cross the road and people can move on the road in an orderly manner. So, all these rules are made for so that there are for the betterment of the people. So, that everything moves smoothly and everybody can go on with their life. In the same way, there are rules for social life. Now, social life means how we behave in our society, how we behave among others when we are outside our homes. So, that tell us what each person should be doing. So, rules made for the society tell us how we should behave when we are outside our homes, when we are among others, when we are utilizing uh, public uh, property that is public transport or any other offices or buildings that is hospitals, schools, any other institutions. So, it tells us how we have to behave when we are among other people in the society. Then, rules need to be made to specify each person's duties and responsibilities. So, duties and responsibilities means how, what should we do? What is the right thing to do? What should we should do and what we shouldn't do when we are among other people? So, it should be specifying. Specifying means it should be laid down clearly what is a person should do and what a person shouldn't do. And if we follow the rules, our day to life, day to day life becomes disciplined. So, when we follow rules, what happens is everybody's life is going smoothly, everybody's life is going very well, there are no problems faced because of someone. If there are some people who do not follow rules, they create inconvenience, that is, they create problems for others, isn't it? So, if everyone follows the rules, everyone's life becomes disciplined. And we can work more efficiently. That is, everyone can more work in a best possible manner. We can do all our work in the proper manner without any problems arising. If everyone follows the rules, everyone does what is their duties and responsibilities laid down. So, we all have to follow rules. And rules are made for everybody. So, nobody is 
nobody is you know you cannot be away from the rules rules are for everybody equally so whoever you could be you could be rich you could be poor you could belong to this religion that religion or maybe your father may be very a rich person or your father may be in the ministry or anything but nothing is against the rules everybody has to follow the rules so rules are made for everybody in the same manner and they apply equally to all that is everyone has to follow the rules so nobody is above the law no one is above the rules okay so everyone has to follow and disobeying that is not following the rules if you do not follow the rules what will happen this will lead to punishment so those who do not obey the rules those who do not follow the rules they have to they will be given some sort of punishment it depends on how serious this rule is or how seriously you have broken the rules if there are accidents caused by you then there are different punishments if there is minor thing maybe you have not bought a ticket by mistake so there will be a fine for you so you'll have to pay some fine maybe you know you if you park your vehicle at a no parking zone where it is not to be parked then you will put a fine okay so the punishment depends on what kind of rule you have broken and how severe it is and there is no discrimination in the punishment no discrimination means discrimination means to go there is be a difference so there is no discrimination means there is no difference in punishing the person whoever the person is if he has broken the rules if he has not uh, obeyed the rules then that person will be given punishment whoever the person could be so there is no discrimination in punishment for breaking the rules in this way equality is the basis of rules so whenever the rules are made they see that it is applicable to all equality equally whether whoever that person could be sometimes we find that you know the traffic is halted for the ministers or ministers are allowed to go now why is this so so you may say yes there is discrimination why are they allowed to go and we have to stop It's because ministers are important people they have to work for the betterment of large number of people okay so therefore their time is very very important so there are specific rules made for them that is they are allowed to pass in the traffic sometimes we see that the ambulance is allowed to pass the police van is allowed to pass so those are specific rules made for these people and so they are following those rules okay so they are not going against those rules so ambulance need to be passed ambulance when there is a person they are taking a serious person a serious patient in them they are allowed to pass fire brigades are allowed to pass because they have to you know put off the fire they have to save lives so such people have different rules to follow than the general public but yes they too have certain rules and they have to follow these rules they can't go against these rules okay so everyone have to follow the rules and rules are made equally for everyone so that is the meaning of equality now let's read and understand changes in rules for the society that is why do we need to change rules in the society now a society works according to a certain rules isn't it there are rules for that we follow and we make the rules ourselves that is some of the rules we make it ourselves that is uh, we uh, for cleanliness we keep our environment clean nobody has to tell us that isn't it um, for our personal hygiene also we keep our homes clean we keeps our bodies bodies clean we keep our surroundings clean as well as when we are walking on the road we see that you know we are not okay, uh, uh, allowing other people to also to walk on the road we are not you know walking anyhow in any way okay or when we are at the shop so we see that you know we are allowing others also to buy things and we are un, uh, you know unnecessarily not you know breaking the queue or anything so we make all these rules ourselves and we follow these rules because they are meant for the common good that is it is made for the good of everybody else so these rules we follow and we see that we are not creating a nuisance or creating problems for others
proper changes are also introduced in the rules made for a society so sometimes we have to change the rules according to what is required so we learn about it okay and there is a difference between the rules of um, society and rules of nature so our nature also follows certain rules that is natural occurrences that is everything that occurs in nature that is there in nature that happens in nature follow laws of nature so they follow a particular rule that is laid down by nature that is we cannot change the laws of nature can we change anything that is there naturally plants growing birds flying we can't change that that is the rising and setting of the sun we cannot change it isn't it according to what time we want the sun to rise or set and the changes in seasons never stop the laws of gravity does not change gravity means the feature of the earth to pull the objects towards itself anything that falls will fall down to the ground isn't it so the laws of gravity do not change then the rising and falling of the tides that is high tide low tide near the sea they do not change the phases of the moon don't change isn't it that is we have the full moon followed by the new moon and so the moon also goes into different shapes so we can't just say that we will have full moon for 15 days we can't do that isn't it so all these things occur according to the laws of nature that is rules of nature they follow the rules of nature we cannot change that and nature's laws are constant and fixed so they are constant constant means they are sturdy they are cannot be changed they are fixed and they do not uh, ever become outdated so can you say that okay now we will not have night time we'll have always day time only so night time should be outdated removed okay sun should never set it should only rise okay it should, there should be sun always so we cannot they cannot be outdated they are there following the rules of nature for thousands of years however human laws need to be changed with changing condition but certain laws certain rules that are made for human beings need to be changed from time to time now the laws followed in india under the rule of the british were different so when the britishers were there in our country ruling our country they had made rules according to themselves okay so they had made different kind of rules which were not acceptable to india isn't it so when india got independence that is gained independence the situation changed and the laws of civic life changed accordingly so civic life is how people should do what people should do in the society so there were many many rules that were changed and you can take another example that is after independence the voting age was 21 years so people who could vote that is above the years age of 21 not below the age of 21 could vote okay in the election but after 1988 the voting age was lowered that is from 21 the age was made to 18 years of age that is anyone who is 18 years and above can vote okay before that it was 21 years so whoever is 21 years old and above could vote could vote okay nobody below that so 19 year old 18 year old 17 year old could not vote but after 1988 even all those who are 18 years and above can vote here is an activity try this ask your parents and grandparents what rules were followed during their time at school so when they went to school what were the rules you ought to have rules in school isn't it you have to wear particular rules there are certain rules given in your calendar or diary that is given from school so go through those rules and you can also ask your parents grandparents uncles aunts whoever there is okay and make three columns so you have to draw you make a table and in that table make three columns one each for yourself your parents and your grandparents so the number of people you are going to ask this question you can make that many columns and make the headings what were the rules you had what were the rules your grandparents have and so you can put a tick mark okay so enter the school rules related information in each column and compare it and discuss which rules have changed and which have not so think about it and 
what you have to do is you have to go through this after you have written down everyone's rules and you know you have made these columns so go through it and think so which were the rules which were there at that time and are still continuing in your school and which of the rules have changed okay so they were different when your parents or grandparents were there but now they are no more there or they have changed they have made some new rules okay so the try this activity and you can have fun collecting information as well as comparing it and always remember boys and girls or men and women are equal so everybody is equal there is nobody above the law okay and they must get same opportunity for development so everybody must given the same opportunity that is a same chance same things they must be given a chance to study to go to work to earn for themselves according to their abilities and whatever their interest are so it should not be said that no you are a boy you are a girl you can't do this you can't do that or you are a man you are a woman you are a rich person you are a poor person no everybody is equal for doing whatever work they want to do so equal opportunity must be given for their development do solve the exercise given to you at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe